And this Halloween we have such beautiful weather, almost perfect for trick or treating this evening. We do expect more clouds though, moving into the area tomorrow and midweek, and then we we will also be warming up later this week as we eventually get into the 80s. Here is your Halloween planner. So happy to reveal this instead of something with extreme cold or a lot of heat and mugginess or storms. Of course, sometimes we have these fronts this time of year and sometimes they happen to come in on Halloween or in the weekend preceding it. So we did have rain on Saturday, but this is our forecast for this Monday evening falling into the 60s. Just super pleasant, maybe a little cool for some of us, but hopefully OK. Now, right now there are temperatures, of course, across the US, mostly pleasant for all of these super creepy spots like Sleepy Hollow, New York at 62 Skull Valley, Arizona at 50 degrees. Kill Devil Hills in North Carolina, 65 Tombstone, Arizona. Lots of creepy spots in Arizona, I guess 64 degrees and Scarville, Iowa. Now, of course, in Louisiana, we have a couple of creepy names as well over in Slaughter, Louisiana, north of Baton Rouge, 78 degrees expected today with mostly sunny skies. Overall, super pleasant feel. And did you know that there's a Transylvania, Louisiana? This was in my very first weather market that I worked in in Monroe. This is to the east of Monroe to the north of Vicksburg near the Mississippi River in East Carroll Parish. 74 degrees expected there today. <laughs> nice and sunny. Here are temperatures across the southeast. Look at this beautiful spot of weather across our part of the US where we're just super comfortable. A lot of spots actually this evening for trick or treating, getting to enjoy some pretty nice weather. Quiet conditions with really out to our west, just high pressure over really a big chunk of the western and central US. Here is that system that we got on Saturday still swinging off to the northeast. And then you may notice this low pressure area over North Mexico and South Texas. We may eventually and we are expecting eventually to get some cloud cover from this as this kind of skirts with some of the clouds off to the west, but we're not really looking for any big weather systems moving into our area really for the next week or so we will just be gradually warming up right now 73 in New Orleans. So pleasant, partly to mostly cloudy skies. We do have some clouds, but really not seeing anything in the way of any hazardous or even problematic weather temperatures. Super comfy in the 70s. We'll say our high today near 76, mostly sunny skies, nice and our winds from the west. And uh, tonight we'll be looking for mainly calm winds, maybe allowing a bit of fog to form. We'll look for lows north and south in the 50s and a few clouds for the overnight hours and into early tomorrow morning. Now here's our high resolution model showing you can see that bit of rain and cloud cover over South Texas and some of those clouds just increasing through Tuesday. This is tomorrow morning, Tuesday, maybe mostly cloudy skies potentially. Some of this might be high clouds, though, so it still looks like an overall pretty nice day, uh, but we will have more clouds. This is tomorrow afternoon, but look what happens as some of the rain tries to get near us sort of fizzles over our area. So on Wednesday, we will have a slight chance for a stray shower, maybe late Tuesday night as well but just not looking like a whole lot of rain. Now something's happened in the tropics today. New tropical storm Lisa has formed in the Caribbean Sea. You can see the clouds, especially with showers and storms collecting on the southern side of the center, but the forecast is for it to strengthen a bit as it moves to the west, and it might actually be briefly a category one hurricane before it makes landfall sometime around Wednesday around Belize and then continues over into Guatemala. So this is our tropical storm. Lisa maybe could become Hurricane Lisa right before landfall. Good consensus with the models because we have a high pressure ridge that we've been seeing for many days with the models building in and just directing it out to the west not allowing it to get into the Gulf of Mexico. So this is not a threat for our area. Lisa does bring us to 12 named storms now, and this is only the fourth season in the past 25 years that we've had a below average season. If we do continue below average through the end of the season, we only have one month left. Remember, of course, our 30 named storms two years ago, 21 named storms last year. So this year we've had 12 so far, and of course, for our part of the Gulf Coast, no big threats this entire hurricane season. And again, only a month left. There's your seven day forecast. Our temperatures going up a little bit, only to lower 80s, though, and this weekend looking pretty nice with the daylight saving time change at 2 a.m. on Sunday. High temperatures around 80 both Saturday and Sunday and only slight rain chances.